Okay, here's how to beat Harold in the Surge 2 and get Harold's holographic tail blade weapon as a reward. When I run into the boss arena, try and stand on the edge of this circle area because he lands in the middle and he'll d land on you and do damage. You want to target his tail, so as soon as he lands, lock on and target his tail. Breaking his tail is what gets you his weapon. Now the best way to do this fight is to block his uh, swiping attack and his downward attack. At first it seems like blocking his attacks is hard, but it's not that hard if you position yourself ahead of his feet. That's the key to being able to block that. When he jumps back, apparitions are coming out. The best way to avoid that is to run into this corner here. That also stops him from doing his unblockable leap at you. So I pretty much try to hang near this staircase and whichever side I'm on, I try to hide when he's going to do an unblockable leap. So stand ahead of his feet to do those blocks, the directional blocks. If you're too close, he'll hit you with it generally. So if you're a little bit close like I'm there, I want to back off a bit. So I'm too close there. You can see I got hit because I was too close. So he's going to do the apparitions and his unblockable jump. So I just stand on the side of the stairwell to prevent being hit by that. He won't do the jump if you're standing there too. So you can see I'm standing ahead of him and I'm able to do those unblockable jump, hide. Okay, see, works every time. Now I block that. Usually one or two hits is enough, otherwise you're pushing it. And then always back off so that you're outside of his feet range to make sure that your blocks work. There we go, apparitions again. And he would do his unblockable jump here, but because I'm hidden, he won't. So again, I just move back. One or two hits, move back. Um, this is our unblockable slam, which leaves uh, an elemental pool on the ground. So you just gotta keep your eye out to not step in that. And now that his tail's broken, you can go to town on him for a little while and get a fair bit of damage on, but don't overdo it. Well, that's a bit unjust. I was just inside the range of it. So back off. I messed that block up, but that's okay. So long as you block, you won't take too much damage. All right, apparitions again, so hide. Even if one or two hits you, it's all right. Oh, he's gonna do his jump. And being there prevents me from being hit by that. And yeah, that's pretty much how to beat Harold. He's not a terribly difficult boss when you know to hide behind the stairs. And it just takes a little bit of uh, practice to get your blocks with these attacks right, but so long as you always step back and stay outside of the range of his feet, that's the key. Trying to stay outside the range, just outside the range of his feet. That's the weapon you get. I don't know if it's terribly good or not. I'll be sticking with the katana, I think. Anyway. That's how to beat Harold the Boss, not a terribly complicated boss. Hope this video helps you out guys, I'm Fuzzy Barbarian and I'll see you in the next boss fight.